This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Principles course. I'm on the Data Tools unit, Lesson 14, Visualizing Data, Puzzle 6, Customizing Your Charts. Oh, good. You now have a chart that allows you to see relationship and trends in your data. You may find that you want greater control over the appearance of your chart. Luckily, Draw Charts from Records block actually has another parameter that lets you customize different components of your chart. Let's take advantage of the ability to now to manipulate some components of your chart. Uh, the options object. If you look at the draw records block, you will see that there is an additional parameter after columns. Oh, well, yeah, you can add one, huh? This parameter is actually an object whose properties correspond to different parts of your chart. There are many different properties that you can set for the, your chart, but for this level, you'll only be working with title and color properties. Do this. At the beginning of your program, create a new object called options. Okay, so we're going to declare a new object, var options, and to tell the computer, hey, this is an object, we do need curly brackets. By default, your chart is not labeled with a title, but a descriptive title will help others understand your chart more clearly. Set the title property to of hashtag to hashed to popularity of hashtags over time. Okay, so I guess we're going to use our options dot. Uh, so we're going to use dot notation to give it a title property and then make it equal to popularity of hash. Do I need a period, really? I'm not having one. All right. Change the colors of the lines for each hashtag by setting the colors property. Colors expects an array of strings where each string is the color is a color name. Like, okay, so colors property, colors. Um, what colors do I want? No idea. Purple, comma, green. Oh, but it's an array of strings. So I need these separated. I need a square bracket and a square bracket to create a string and then make sure to end with a, a semicolon. Note, when you set colors, make sure the number of elements in the array matches the number of columns you are plotting. They do. For example, yep, two lines. Add your options object as an additional parameter to the draw chart records. Jeez, this is long. Uh, just for clarity's sake, I'm going to hit enter. And now we can see it all. Okay. And what I need now is what were we doing we're adding to this and we are adding our options object because it's going to grab our options object and then it's going to ask it's going to look for these properties title and color run the app to verify the title appears and the lines oh that is cool popularity of hashtags and my color choices are excellent so that's what worked for me. The tricky part, what one of them I thought was the color away. Cool, let's uh, keep going.